welcome to my channel today I'm going to talk about how to land jobs to get your dream job in 2020 in this video I've spoken about how to define your dream job in 2020 and today I'm going to show you step by step on how you can do that. The first that I have mentioned before in the video is to create a list of what you know and even though you did not use it in your current job or any previous jobs at least the knowledge that you know so here's the list that I have created and I have uh, included soft skills and hard skills as you can see my technical skills I'm computer savvy I'm familiar with SEO search engine optimization uh, social media if you use Facebook Twitter Instagram LinkedIn for posting and messaging and uh, you know communicating with anyone that's called social media and another one is marketing and advertising I know how to market uh, services how to advertise them uh, organically uh, I know about sales I can sell it to anyone whatever product that there is I know how to type uh, reading of course we know how to read a book we are even reading my list so you know how to read voice over uh, podcast and radio I have a radio show and I have a podcast so voice over skills that I already have research um, I have my master's degree and I've done a lot of research in, throughout the years in school so I know how to research my market research anything that I want if you google something up that's called research as well teaching I know how to teach I have a degree in teaching as well um, I learned uh, five different ways of teaching, so for me it's kind of like a skill that's a hard skill that I learned. Editing videos and audio, this I know. I also know editing essays, so this is something that's um, a skill that I obtained. Photography, um, any pictures that you take from your phone, it's called photography, so anybody should have it. Red this is something that I see a lot of softwares available for anyone to become a graphic design. I am going to post. Um, I am going to post um, a card for you to see what uh, posting is, how I post it, and then we have uh, courses. You can create courses without a. So I have those leadership ma management skills, negotiate, I can negotiate salaries, negotiate sales, negotiate with vendors, copywriting, um, it co correlates with advertising, uh, since I can do advertising through social media, I can do also copywriting, writing sales letters and landing pages. And also here I have... Um, observations I can observe any performance that there is and then see it for myself what's good this is the skills that I usually know but I not necessarily use it for anything so cooking I cook every day for my kids cleaning organize shop budget inventory uh, writing you know like this list or writing any essays writing essentially emails uh, artistic and draw this is what I know to um, to do now the next step would be creating this list this is basically for you like a to do uh, like a like kind of like a to-do list but this is a list of your skills I had categorized them as technical skills uh, and also there's like soft skills I should write here and also um, other skills mis miscellaneous uh, now, the next step would be for you to see exactly what you love doing. So, if you love computers, that's great. 
you can do a, a lot of things with computers. If you love social media, you're always on Snapchat, you're always on Instagram. So social media and photography would go hand in hand because the photography, you need to post pictures on Instagram. So you need to know how to do this photography. And now graphic design. So the graphic design also, um, if you love computers, this requires a lot of hours sitting on a computer and designing. So this is something that you can do. And I'm going to show you a card in this video that um, how to become a graphic design in 10 minutes without a degree or without anything. So I'm gonna show you a software that does this. This is basically it. So this is how I define. So the next thing, once you define what you like and how you do, now we're gonna move to, move to the next step. So as you can see, you have done your research, you did your skills of what you know and what you can do and what you love doing. And now you understand what you love doing, it's the next step. So once you define what you love doing from the list and what you know 100% what to do, then the next step would be searching for jobs that are kind of um, looking for somebody like you. So as I said before in my video right here, um, what I, how I became a coach is basically by doing the same thing that I done. So in, in this case, I knew how to write a resume. So I had advertised myself as a resume writer and kind of like new social media. I didn't want to become a social media manager. It's not something that I love doing it. It's something I know how to do it, but it's not something that I love doing it. So I kind of like used that skill to advertise my resume writing skills and my career coaching skills. So once I advertised myself, I had success and a lot of clients, people from uh, Facebook started calling me and asking for help and paid for my service. Now, assuming you don't have entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial skills, you don't have the sales skills, maybe you're kind of like scared of doing sales because it does require to be salesy when you're a salesperson. So assuming you are good in computers and you're kind of like good in social media. So once you know how to do social media and you know how to take pictures online um, with your phone, then the next thing would be for you to search for jobs that are looking for a social media manager. As a social media manager, it requires you to have experience. So when I see a social media manager that requires experience, let's say five years, three years, 10 years, I have been using Facebook since 2008. I have been using Instagram since 2010. I have been using all the social media platforms a long time. I wasn't a social media manager officially, but I knew how to use social media. So for me to say I have experienced 10, eight years, five years, three years, that is true because I do have experience in that. So if you are a case, so in your case, if you are a person who wants to do social media for, not for free, but to get paid, then there are jobs out there who pay $70,000 just to manage social media platform. So some are very specific, are looking for engagement, are looking to increase followers, are looking for people to make the post viral so uh, also knowing how to use facebook ads instagram ads uh, linkedin ads twitter ads in order to get results so some ads don't produce results so for them it's kind of like anybody can do that without results so you have to be mindful and see exactly in the qualifications what they are looking for is not just a job description so that's it for today i have told you exactly step by step on how you can define find a job change your career to find a dream job 
in 2020 apply it and let me know in the comments exactly how it went what struggles or obstacles you had and how how you managed to change your job so see you on the next video